What's up everybody, it's Furious Francis over here from PlayerEssence.com and today we're going to be discussing if the 3DS is becoming the PS2 of this generation and going off of the sales and going off of the content coming out for the system, I definitely believe so and I have a few reasons why. One, we'll start off with the exclusive games for the system. I mean, it's just immense. I mean, I have not been more satisfied with a console since like the Super Nintendo days. I mean, honestly, I'm not trying to knock other consoles that have came out, you know, I really like uh, my other consoles like Xbox 360, PS3, Wii, Wii U, but right now the 3DS has so much content for a cheaper price, it's amazing. You know, the other day I bought uh, Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS and I waited before I registered my 3DS online. I registered my 3DS just recently on Club Nintendo, and I registered Luigi's Mansion, and Nintendo gave me Star Fox for free, Star Fox 64, digitally. So I mean, it's just amazing with all the amount of content, you know, that's already come out for the 3DS, there's more, you know, that they have. And I was playing Star Fox 64, and it's an amazing remake of the original game from the Nintendo 64. It's fantastic. So with Luigi's Mansion, with Star Fox, with Super Mario, with Mario Kart, Fire Emblem Awakening, Pokemon X and Y, Shin Megami Tensei 4 coming out this summer, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, there are so many exclusive experiences that you can only get on the 3DS that's very similar to the PS2 back when it was dominating the sales charts and software sales. I think that Nintendo needs to continue hammering that point home. The next reason why I think it's the PS2 of this generation is because of the amount of support we're getting from Japanese developers. Really, like the PS2, of course it had American support. There are American games on the system, but the best selling games on the system were Japanese focused games. Stuff like Final Fantasy were the best, you know, stuff like Dragon Quest were also really big sellers on the PS2. So, the fact that Nintendo 3DS, a lot of its best sellers, of course, are Nintendo's first party games, but you know, stuff like Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, it definitely sold well, they made their money back. You know, so games like that are also being brought out, and with this summer, you know, Shin Megami Tensei 4 is coming out, that should also be a big seller, you know, so the Japanese market games, the Japanese focus games are strong on the 3DS, and I mean, I personally love that about the system. So, I love the content they're getting. Next, it's the amount that they're selling. The fact that the system is selling so well in Japan, you know, the fastest selling console size portable, the 30 million units worldwide, I think that people are really underestimating, you know, especially from an American standpoint, the power of the 3DS. And as far as what it can do, I remember when it was first released, you know, people were saying it was too weak, people were saying it wouldn't be able to compare, you know, to the competition as far as being the PS Vita. And, you know, People are proven wrong because really what it comes down to, it comes down to the game. You know, a game looks pretty, it can draw you in at first, but when you start playing the game, all of that just disappears and it really just matters on what is the game, what's the core elements, is this fun to play, and graphics become a, you know, a side note. But I think that Nintendo's proof through art style and through gameplay, you can achieve higher things for a game. And I think that's the reason why, you know, the, the 3DS is doing so well. I remember back when the PS2 came out, you know, and then the successors of the um, N64 was coming out as far as the GameCube. You know, people were saying, oh, the better graphics. And then people were saying when the Xbox One came out, oh, it's gonna have better graphics, it's gonna do this. But the PS2 was just like, yeah, well, we're gonna release quality games, you know? Um, of course, the PS2 had good specs compared, it was comparable, but they were the PS2 was still weaker than the Xbox One and, uh, um, and the GameCube. So it's really cool to see the 3DS doing that well, and it's really cool to see as far as the games, like what Nintendo's bringing out. I'm looking forward to them, you know, Smash Bros. They, they, Nintendo has finally realized, you know, we need to get a Smash Bros game on the 3DS. So Nintendo's 3DS uh, market is doing just fine. I mean, and even the DS is still doing very well to this point, which is which goes back to one of my other videos that I had, which if you haven't seen it, make sure you check out my WADA video if WADA should be out as CEO. And it's, it's just amazing how much like relevancy Nintendo has as far as the market goes, from the portable to the consoles. If you, I mean, I'm not sure if the official MPD numbers aren't, aren't out yet, but if you look at the MPD, you have Wii U, DS, 3DS, and Wii, all charting into MPD. 
Nintendo is selling the most amount of units um, worldwide, everywhere. It's, it's great to know that the 3DS is going to continue getting quality software, and by the time it's all said and done, it could be the PS2 of this generation, where it just has just it, so much exclusive content on the system, you can't pass it up. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that the 3DS is becoming that system? Do you guys think that uh, Nintendo needs to do a better job marketing the, the 3DS? Maybe it can be doing better here in America as far as the sales go. Let me know um, in the comments below. And also, let me know about you guys' favorite games on the system. Personally, right now, of course, I'm loving Fire Emblem Awakening. Just got Luigi's Mansion. That's also good. Uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Let me know what games you guys are really enjoying and playing on the 3DS, and maybe I can do a video about it. All right, once again, my name is Furious Francis. Make sure you check out the website, playeressence.com. We've got all your news, reviews, trailers, all of that good stuff, all in one spot. You can see that in the description below. And make sure to like us on Facebook, because when you like us on Facebook, you get all of our exclusive content sent straight to your cell phone or tablet. All right, we're all finished up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.